let's um let's talk about something that we actually do know right now, and that would be the new defensive coordinator at Ohio State University will be Jim Knowles, who was the uh, defense coordinator at Oklahoma State. He was the defensive coordinator before that at Duke, and uh, brother. I, and so, uh, when's the last time you really saw Jim Knowles? Did you see him on any of the broadcasts uh, at, lately? No. So he, hey, we we closed at three, man. What you got? <laughs> I don't know that we have anything for you guys right now. I'm sure Christy Christy probably called. They closed here, man. I'm sorry. I get here eight. Sorry, bud. <laughs> oh, the bales of trying to run a business. Yes. And, uh, and yes. do this show. You got to love it. At the same it. time. <laughs> oh, every, normally when people leave, they lock the door behind them and they turn the lights off so no one walks in the door. Ah, that tends oh. to happen. Yeah, yeah. And, and when that does not happen, of course, you've got uh, people that are just walking in trying to. The rando yeah. dude that. We've done business with us for, I don't know, a couple of years and uh, <laughs> should know better. Well, there you go. There you go. All right. Well, uh, so so back to this topic. Jim Knowles, um, Oklahoma State defense coordinator, Duke defensive coordinator. Uh, he's He's been doing this for quite some time. He was a head coach at one point, 2004 to 2009, was 26 and 34 as the head coach at Cornell University. Uh, but he has refined the defensive side of the game. He is he is unbelievable as a defensive coordinator, and it kind of hurt my feelings that that he would leave to take the uh, the defensive coordinator spot at Ohio State because I know that he's going to absolutely kill it there, uh, so long as they don't cut his legs out from under him. But you you look at what he has done. Uh, he was at Ole Miss in two thousand three. He was at Cornell two thousand four through two thousand nine as a head coach. Then he was at Duke from twenty ten all the way until twenty seventeen. And what he did there was made them an incredibly aggressive and yet very fundamentally sound defense. And he did the exact same thing at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State getting to the Big 12 title game this year was based purely on the fact that Jim Knowles is one hell of a defensive coordinator. Now, of course, he's going to Ohio State. My question for you is this. He was already making a huge chunk of change at Oklahoma State. I don't imagine that Ohio State was going to pay him a ton more if you are 56 years old, it, is this more a shot at, hey, if I go to Ohio State and our defense is really good, I can parlay that into getting a, a bigger head coaching job. I can, I can go back, get a head coaching job, and close out my career that way. Like, I can really hit the jackpot one last time. You feel like maybe that's what this is about? Well, I bet it is going to be more money, though. I mean, he was already you don't think making. Going to be more money. Uh, from what I understand, he was already making over two million at Oklahoma State, and for okay. a coordinator, that's you pretty crazy. You I, okay, you don't think it's going to be for more money? I mean, it, yes, it'll be for more money. I just, it, I don't imagine okay. it's for a whole lot. It's not, it's not life changing money, right? Like, do you? Well, all right. I mean, it, it's easy for somebody else to spend somebody else's money, but okay, all right. I mean, if it's if it's for two point five, all right. Now, now it's twenty five percent raise. If you got a twenty five percent raise annual salary, that change your life. Da, 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 da. Hey, you know what? I was so incorrect on this. I had somebody tell me wrong information, and I apologize. Knowles is making eight hundred thousand. I think they got him confused with the Texas defense coordinator Pete Kwiatkowski. Uh, who is making one point seven million? So yes, Ohio State is probably going to pay him over two million, and that would be life changing money. That changes say, the whole I game. Couldn't imagine You're right. Him, I could, I couldn't imagine making that move for less money or for equal money. I that doesn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense, and that didn't seem right. So I yeah, just it, assumed he's got to be making more. It has to be that, right? It's got to be. Uh, so, so towards yeah. the end of the season, he grew a beard out. He uh, he just looks significantly older. I was shocked when I realized that he was only fifty six years old because I thought he was well into his sixties. He's got like this really white gray Santa Claus beard going on. 
uh, but he looks rugged. He looks kind of rough, and and he looks like a, a defense coordinator. Like he looks like somebody that uh, that is going to fit in well uh, at Ohio State. So he's I, I do like this move for Ohio State. I I do think that this tells us that Ryan Day is not headed to the NFL anytime soon because this is an incredibly smart hire uh, for him and the Buckeyes. You uh, you kind of agree with that? I do agree with that. And so this this terrifies me because uh, a move like this can make Ohio State dominant for for a very very long time once they get all their ducks in a row right there's always been something missing uh not just with ohio state but with you know a bunch of these uh these bigger schools but ohio state can certainly take over the mantle that alabama has had for the last however many years uh with a move yeah. like this i mean this is this is massive 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 move uh so long as they actually let him run that side of the ball right i think that's the biggest thing that a lot of people miss is Sometimes when they bring in guys like this, they feel like the organization is too big and they get to control the way that certain coaches coach. And so long as they don't do that, like he is going to be perfectly fine on that side of the ball. I can't imagine Ryan Day would do that, though, right? I wouldn't think so, but also he's only been a head coach for three years now, and who knows, right? Um. I mean, we we thought that we had that figured out with uh, with Ed Orgeron, and there's been other coaches that have done it as well. Uh, but O was the one that that most people really pointed to because in his first season as head coach at LSU, you know, he said he was going to let his coordinators do their thing, and then after three or four games, he started jumping in on the offense coordinator on Matt Canada. And that's not to say that Matt Canada didn't need a little bit of help on that side of the ball, uh, but it was very obvious very quickly that those two were not going to get along. So long as Jim Knowles and Ryan Day stay out of each other's way, I think that they will be perfectly fine. But if something goes wrong in a game and Ryan Day fit, there's a lot that can go on with relationships. Uh, you you won't know that as well as anybody, I'm sure. Um, so I just I, I hope that they let him do his thing because I think he can be incredibly dominant there. He could probably coach out the rest of his career in Columbus there. Uh, because he will make Ryan Day a very successful head coach, so long as he just stays out of the way. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.